We've all heard the same things about Venezuela coming from every corporate news outlet. Venezuela is a dictatorship, and Maduro is a dangerous tyrant, further consolidating power through fraudulent elections. Weirdly enough, not many dictatorships have elections, certainly not over 20 in the last 20 years, like Venezuela has. And there's a funny thing about how the US media and political establishment views Venezuela's elections. They're illegitimate, except when the US-backed opposition party has major victories, which they have twice very recently. One of those was the 2015 National Assembly election, where they won a supermajority in the body that is similar to the US Congress. That election was deemed legitimate by the US, but all the other ones before and after that fraudulent, including the one that took place this past weekend. It's also telling that you hear more about Venezuela's elections than probably any other country. Why is the US empire so focused on democracy in Venezuela? Could it be that Venezuela is an oil-rich nation that doesn't follow the dictates of big oil? Well, if you're interested in learning more context about Venezuela and why it's been in the crosshairs of the empire for the last 20 years, we've done tons of reporting on the ground, including the deadliest phase of protests in 2017, which you can watch on our YouTube playlist called Reporting from Venezuela. But the propaganda campaign is an endless cycle, rebooted every time there's a democratic election in the country. So with renewed claims that Venezuela must be saved, I wanted to sift through fact from fiction with a journalist who was just on the ground observing the election. So I'm pleased to be joined from New York by Kay Pritzker, a reporter with Breakthrough News, a new outlet I hope everyone checks out. Kay just returned from a week in Caracas. Thank you so much for joining us on The Empire Files, Kay. Thanks for having me. So Kay, what did you observe on the ground that dispelled that notion that the votes were not transparent and the election not free and fair? Yeah, the Venezuelan election system is very thorough. I mean, very thorough, more thorough than what I've seen in the United States, what we have here. Um, so when you enter a Venezuelan polling place, the first thing that happens is you take a electronic fingerprint scan. Uh, they have these um, fingerprint scanners and it, the fingerprint is matched with the fingerprint that's connected to your national ID card. So there are two forms of verification, the ID card and the, the fingerprint. And if there's a mismatch, if the fingerprint doesn't match the person on the card, or if you don't ma match the person on the card, then you won't be allowed to vote. Then you'll go over to the electronic voting booth where it, you, know, you, you cast your ballot. And this is a seamless system. It takes uh, two clicks, literally two clicks. Uh, you open up the window and it shows all of the parties. It shows all their logos and you can vote. Um, and then you get a paper ballot. You get a paper receipt that shows your vote and you deposit that into a, another ballot box. So this is so if there's any sort of discrepancy or th there needs to be a recount or the electronic system fails somehow, you can either count the paper ballots or if people want to question the electronic ballots, those two can be cross-referenced. So, you know, the paper ballots match the electronic ballots uh, to, to make sure that the, the totals are, are the same. And then finally, you go through another fingerprint and you sign your name certifying that you are indeed the, the person that voted. And I, you know, I'll say Venezuelan elections are probably some of the most scrutinized in the world. I can't really think of another country where 200 international observers have to show up just to certify the election results, but Venezuela is one of those countries. And, you know, anytime Venezuela even declares an election, people already begin to question it. Certainly the United States and the United States media, you know, Western media sources, immediately cast doubt on the election results before the vote even takes place. So uh, Venezuela can't really afford to run a sloppy process. They have to run a really tight ship because everyone is watching. Mm -hmm. And there's